I'm Jordan Prusak and I'm a fourth year at the University of Chicago. I'm from San Clemente, California, which is halfway between LA and San Diego. I'm a molecular engineering major. So I don't know exactly, but I definitely want to go back to school, uh, probably in a PhD program, maybe looking at combining like policy and science. In the, uh, I think that would be interesting. Well, one of my fun facts, um, last year I was going through a quarter life crisis, I like to call it, and I bought two guinea pigs named Martha and Gerald. However, they smelled very bad and have since been given away. So some people know I have guinea pigs, but not all know that I don't have them anymore. <laughs> So, one of my favorite memories was last year. We had like 10 games in a week or something crazy. And it was during school, it wasn't during uh, spring break. And since I'm a pitcher, I don't really hit. And we were playing this one team and I hit the ball somewhere. I don't even know how I got on base, but I literally only hit a single. And my team screamed for me as if I had hit a home run. And it was just so funny. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I got really excited, um, <laughs> but it was just <laughs> like you would have literally thought I had hit like three home runs that game and I literally just hit a single. And then the best part was after that, I stole a base. I especially never run for myself. So then I stole a base and like they just, the cheering for me was literally outrageous, but it was so funny <laughs> as I fell off the chair. <laughs> If I could have a superpower, I'd probably talk to animals, which is like the probably one of the latest superpowers. But I don't know, maybe they could give me some insight on my life. Like my guinea pigs have probably seen me in certain modes of stress before. And maybe they could just give me some feedback on what to do differently. Or like, you know, your dogs always know when you're sad. They'd be like, Jordan. You're a great owner, and I'd be like, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. My biggest role model is probably, this is very cliche, everyone always says it's cliche, but my biggest role model is probably my dad, um, just because he wasn't given anything in his life. Like, he had to work so hard to get to where he is. Um, he played college water polo in California, and from that, that led to like just a bunch of opportunities for him. So he's really taught me how to work hard and not take anything for granted. Um, thanks, Dad. 